um, doing a general collective reading for uh, Lionsgate, 8-8 portal, and the upcoming full moon. And just, we're going to tap in and see what energies you need to be aware of and conscious of, and hopefully some information that you are looking to find can be confirmed here for you. Um, not that you need anyone else to confirm anything for you. You have everything you need in you, but it's always nice sometimes to have a little external validation. So um, I just cleared the energy here with some sage. So I'm going to read my ring my sound bowl and then I will wand over you and me with selenite just to make sure that everything's really open and I don't know why I heard breathy. <sighs> okay. Thank you so much for being here. I'm sorry it's been almost a year. Um, I got COVID and it just it just wiped me out. I didn't have long COVID that I know of, but just mentally was not in a good place, and I felt like I wasn't doing this for the right reason at that time. Um, I felt like I was getting sucked into the production of it, and that's not what I'm here for. That's not what I want to do. So I've been confronting some ego issues for the past year and. Just really felt drawn to jump on and do this for you um for me too yeah for all of us okay i'm gonna call in spirit and our guides and jump right into this monology oracle first before we get into tarot okay all right spirit my higher self my viewers higher self thank you so much for using me as a channel um, for the highest most beneficial information for my viewer. Um, I ask that you would just guide me eloquently and, um, you know, it doesn't even have to be eloquent. That's what I just heard. It doesn't even have to be eloquent. It doesn't matter how it comes across. Um, just, yeah, give me the right messages and with humility and just the best heart involved for everyone. Yeah. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, let's see what Moonology oracles you need to be aware of. You are good enough full moon in Virgo. That's definitely full moon energy there, clearly. Um, but I feel like yeah, the full moon's on the first. It's not full moon in Virgo, but um, emotions are running high. Super moon. Yeah. I don't know if you've been able to tell, but I just feel like I feel like the energy has been really intense, good and bad. It's been almost swinging polarities lately, at least for me. So it's time to release negativity, full moon and Scorpio. Okay, one more. Oh, two more. Your commitment is being tested, first quarter moon, and the answers you need are coming, full moon and Gemini. There are four full moon energies here. So there is so much wrapping up, so much, so many things that need to be um, addressed as far as their finality goes, um, whether that be a mindset or relationship or, um, I, I feel like a lot of it has to do with your self relationship. Um, I feel like a lack of feeling like the answers are not near have been fueling just the sort of unpreparedness and the initial message that I'm getting before I read any of this is like don't doubt your own intuition and don't doubt your own truth um, when it comes to being loving and accepting and judgment free there are absolutely allowed to be boundaries placed um, you have to love yourself first before that's that's not the right way to word it. I just got that's not the right way to word to word it. You're not loving other people as well as you think you are, or other things as well as you think you are, if that requires you to be 
self-sacrificial and your standards and your boundaries and yeah that's just the message I'm getting from that real quick um let's see I feel like <sighs> hmm what do I want to read do I want to read all of them I'll just start with all of them okay full moon in Virgo you are good enough it's time to be really honest with yourself and understand what's led you to ask your question. Have you been humble to the point of being self-effacing? Humility is good, but it can go too far, and drawing this card suggests you may be underrating yourself. You don't have to be flash, just quietly certain that you are good enough. At the other end of the scale, you also need honesty. You, you also need to honestly answer this question. Have you been too picky? The full moon and Virgo card needs some truthful answers. Once you've given them, it should be easier to see how you got where you are. Your next step should be then more obvious to you. Pay attention to the details. Hard work brings results. Attune to the moon. Find balance between the cosmic and the mundane in your daily life. Um, additional meanings. Worrying too much will attract more things to worry about. Yeah, I feel like that's really important with the time to, re to release negativity and... Um, your commitment being tested especially with emotions being high I feel like the negative emotions are probably amplified a hundred times it's already harder or it's already easier as people to feel our negative emotions we have more of a physiological and emotional response to negativity um, yeah at least for me that's been true you know people we're on we're all on a scale obviously so there's a range and some people feel the good things just as potently, but I don't know. My perception, which could be wrong, is that a lot of people can feel and really hone in on the negative emotions and negative situations, and that just amplifies it, you know? So, um, yeah, let's see. Have you been overly critical? An apology may be in order. Stop second guessing yourself. Raise your karma by doing something good for someone else. Um, yeah, I feel like it, the emphasis here, though, is like not to a point of abandoning yourself, though. Yeah, I just feel like that's emphasis. Being kind to others, doing something for others is often placing a boundary and giving people the opportunity to either respect your boundaries or, or not. And yeah. You're not doing anyone any favors. It's not kindness to allow yourself to be a doormat to anyone or anything. So, um, okay, Supermoon. Man, where are you, Supermoon? Oh, there it is, okay. <laughs> Emotions are running high. This card suggests that the answer to whatever you're asking is writ large like the silvery full moon set against the velvety night sky. If you're wondering how successful something is going to be, such as a job or relationship, the answer is very. To use common parlance, the answer to your question may well be that it's under your nose. This card is about being larger than, larger than life, being special and bursting with energy that you can tune into and work with. You can expect plenty of good things and a positive outcome when this card comes up, but you may find that there's a lot of emotion to deal with too. There's also a sense that opportunities around whatever you're asking about don't come along every day, so take action. Success is close. I must trust. Yeah. Okay, that's really all I'm feeling to read for those cards. Um, yeah, I'm going to jump right into tarot. Let's see. Okay. see what's the energy for my reader over this 88 lion's gate and this upcoming full moon what's going on what do we need to be aware of when the draw three cards and then I'll clarify them queen of wands yeah there's oh and king of cups okay and three of wands king of swords on the bottom yeah it definitely feels like there is um, a pulling between passion but also being kind of guarded emotionally a little bit um this could have you could be a fire sign um or a water sign definitely there's a lot of fire so far here 
Um, but it just seems like there's this need to be honest with yourself emotionally and not just kind of, uh, I don't know why I'm hearing like smoke and mirrors, right? Um, about what you're longing for, about what you're waiting for, about what you're planning. Um, it looks like stepping into a place of power um, for your for your upcoming plans. As I split this deck to clarify, I see the King of Wands on bottom. So there's a lot of leadership, a lot of masculine energy here. Um, Clarify the Queen of Wands here for my viewer. Six of Wands. Yeah, th there's. You have every reason to be proud of yourself and to accept your accomplishments and to follow your passion and unapologetically, right? It doesn't matter. You could be in front of a crowd. Oh my gosh, and then Queen of Swords for the King of Cups. Yeah, it's very much like you don't need to take the opinions of others so seriously when your opinion and what you desire for yourself is really the most important thing for you honoring your truth um, honoring your heart honoring your passion nine of pentacles for the three of wands clarifying yeah this is whatever you are wanting to achieve whatever you are set out for one you're meant for it Two, it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks of it. And it doesn't matter who disapproves and trying to coddle other people so that to, so that you earn the, their approval. I'm stuttering. So there might be throat chakra issues, um, speaking your truth. All of this is irrelevant because what you want is 100% great for you. It's good for you financially, uh, physically. It's good for your health, for your mind, for your heart. You cannot go wrong with pursuing this. And I just felt drawn to draw a couple more cards there and got five of cups in the Hierophant. So your current beliefs about um, what your happiness requires, whether that be approval or um, external validation, what you fundamentally believe about yourself needs some adjusting because that is the only block that you have right now for your goals, for your desires, is your limiting beliefs. And the only person and the only thing that you can change is yourself and how you view yourself. And so whenever you are envisioning your future and your goals, it is really important to, when you go into those visualizations, those imaginal acts, you know, um, make sure that you are viewing it like the main character and not in like a conceited way. It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks about that, right? You are the main character of your story and you have every right to write your story the way that you see fit. Um, yeah, coddling anyone trying to appease people, having compromises when it comes to your own life path is really irrelevant. Um, it's, it's not necessary. And there might be people that throw a fit about that. That is not your problem and it's not your fault. Um, everyone needs to learn that the only thing that they can change is their own, is their own self, right? That's the only thing that anyone can change is yourself, how you're feeling. The emotions that you're creating in yourself, where is that, the emotions that you're feeling, where is that happening? In you. You have the power to say, I am not going to feel this way. I'm not going to think this way. No matter what, I'm going to do what I need to do. I'm going to follow my bliss. I'm going to follow my heartbeat. And there's nothing and no one that's going to stop me from doing that. Okay. Um, I have an angel answers deck here. So if you would like to ask a question um, while I shuffle this deck, I will get some cards and we'll see what comes out for you. Okay. So go ahead and think of a question and I'm going to sit here and shuffle. Okay. If 
if your question is ready, go ahead and ask it. If you've already asked it, then thank you for being patient. Okay. Spirit, can you please answer my viewer's question and give me some answers here, some angel answers. Be assertive. I couldn't have said it better myself. Not the right time. Crossed over that. Landed on top of that. So, hmm. There is a need for assertiveness. That is still true. There's obviously some of you that may be needing to be sensitive to certain situations around you. And I'm not saying that in a, um, in a way that uh, would require you to be self-sacrificial of your path. Another card that popped out is unlikely. And on the bottom, listen to your intuition. Um, I feel like I need to get two more. Look for a sign. If you've been seeing a lot of signs, um, even, even insects, um, I have had in the last eight days now, eight days, I have had, um, seven wolf spiders that I've seen seven different wolf spiders, um, in my house. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to figure something out. Um, I'm not, I'm kind of scared of spiders, but not really, but I kept seeing them and I was finally like. This isn't just about bugs. Like I need to look up the symbolism of wolf spiders. And I was fascinated about the divine femininity and abundance and just, I kind of had a new respect for spiders, especially wolf spiders after that. And I felt like it was almost a spiritual encounter because I've always identified animalistically as like a wolf and so to learn about wolf spiders and how they're a little bit different than web spinners you know um was really cool i just saw 17 17 on the clock so ones and sevens communicate clearly and if you believe big happy changes cool okay um let's get i'm gonna give you a spiritual af affirmation let's see because I love this deck and yeah it there are cuss words so if you don't like them feel free to skip this part of the video because um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna censor it because <laughs> I don't have a problem with cuss words I feel like they're just sounds that we all decided mean something so it's the intention behind them okay let's get some affirmations no, not those. Okay, I just didn't those up. Some affir affirmations for my viewer, please. Got a few here. All right, let's see. First one, your gut knows what's up. Trust that bitch. <laughs> your gut wants to talk and it always has your back. All you got to do is listen up and not be a punk about whatever it's got to say. Even if you're fuzzy on the right thing to do, your gut usually knows what's, what the wrong thing to do is. Maybe the right thing to do is anything but what you're tempted to do. Out of spite, fear, and impatience? Yeah, probably that. Like 99% usually. Be the change you wish to see up in this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> two in a row with a bitch. Hey, you. Yeah, you. The one who sees what's wrong in the world and who knows that the difference between being an activist and being a whiny ass complainer is action. You want the world to be more kind? Kind the fuck out on people in your life. <laughs> Hate litter bugs? Pick up some trash. Can't stand judgmental blowhards? Quit judging them for being judgmental. It really is kind of that simple. Fuck what they think. Put this card in your pocket and use it as your mantra today, all day and tomorrow while you're at it. Fuck what they think, fuck what they think, fuck what they think. All together now, fuck what they think. Let that freedom ring. Fuck what they think for the win. No is a full sentence. You know what punctuates that sentence? 
action. We spend so much time explaining our boundaries that we forget to just have a fucking boundary. Say no and quit participating in what you said no to. Remove yourself from the situation if you have to. Be your own boundary. You are a product of what you believe. If you think you're a turd, you're probably going to act like a turd. Treat yourself like a turd and accept turd treatment from others. Why the fuck would you do that? First off, you're not a turd. It's just physically impossible to be a turd and a sentient being at the same time. But even if you have been kind of turdy, you believing your goal you believing you're golden will bring on all that golden behavior and that golden treatment. Today, just believe you're golden. And if you like it, better there. Go back to turd town tomorrow. <laughs> People aren't ignoring you, love bug. People are busy as fuck with their lives. And the way to stop feeling ignored is to get busy with yours. Take up knitting if you have to. Get into it. No one is ignoring you. They're probably just reading or something. Go read. The day you stop worrying whether... Whether or not someone is ignoring you is the day you get busy as fuck living your own life. Okay, 2111 <laughs> on the clock. Thank you so much for spending some time with me and I hope that this was a little insightful and helpful and just know that I'm really hoping that you get through whatever you're getting through and that you make it through these crazy energies with some peace and understanding. And I wish the same thing for me too. So, okay. Bye. Love you. Here are your affirmations. I love honoring myself physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. I am the operant power of my reality. I adjust my feelings to reflect the fulfillment of my desire. There's no one and nothing to change except self. I am worthy of being my favorite self.